Hi, my name is John. Um, this is uh, Trig Applications, uh, Charles P. McKee, Chapter 2, Section 4. That's probably the hardest part of Chapter 2. So I decided to YouTube these for you guys. Hope you enjoy them and learn from them and try to do them again because it will actually help you to um, become better geometrist. I think that's a word. Anyways, so here we go. The two equal sides of an isosceles triangle are 42 centimeters each. And uh, what, if the base is the measure of the uh, 30 centimeters, find the height and the measure of the two equal angles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the isosceles triangle out like this. And um, it's isosceles, so it's 42 and 42 centimeters here. And this is the height right there. That's your height, and we're looking for that. And since the base is 30 centimeters, this is 15 centimeters. And now I'm trying to find this angle theta. So the angle that makes with the base is called the base angle right over here. Drawing this information is probably going to be half the battle. So 42, 42, 15, and I'm looking for this angle theta and height. Don't forget, guys, um, write this down somewhere. S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A, -O -O that's very, very important, Sokotoa, everybody should know this by now. Sine of the angle is equal to the opposite ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, etc. Tangent of the angle is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. So how do we find H? We're giving the adjacent and the hypotenuse right here. So the cosine of the angle is equal to 15 over 42, taking the cosine inverse to both sides. I like to write this out, that way you guys know what you're doing, taking the cosine inverse to both sides. That cancels this out. A lot of teachers skip this step. I like to keep this step so that it will be kind of handy later on, okay? So angle theta is equal to cosine inverse of 15 divided by 42. I'm going to do that on my calculator right now. Cosine inverse of 15 divided by 42. And the answer is 69 degrees, approximately 69 degrees. To find the uh, height, I can use the Pythagorean theorem if I want. Or uh, the preferential method is not to use the Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to go, since I found the angle right there, it's the, you can either use the adjacent hypotenuse to the opposite, which is sine, or you can use tangent. It doesn't really matter which one you use. You can use both if you want. I'm going to use the tangent of theta, which is 69 degrees, is equal to h over 15. Solving for h, I multiply 15 to both sides. It's going to be 15 times the tangent of 69 degrees. 15 tangent of 69, and that's going to be approximately 39. So I'm going to write it right over here. H is approximately 39. And what's the units on these centimeters? It's going to be centimeters. Okay. I know you can't see this very well, but uh, I said it's a height should be approximately 39 centimeters. The height of a right circular cone is 25.3 centimeters. If the diameter of the base is 10.4 centimeters, what angle does the side of the cone make with the base? They actually give you a picture of what that looks like. And I'm going to draw a cross uh, section of that cone. The height is 25.3 centimeters. If the diameter of the base is 10.4, that means this length is going to be 5.2 centimeters. And what angle does the side of the cone make with the base? That's what I'm looking for, theta right there. Okay. So make sure that drawing is half the battle. Um, and half the battle is um, setting up your equations and solving them out. So since we have the opposite and the adjacent, I'm going to use tangent of the angle is equal to opposite 25.3 divided by 5.2, or theta is equal to the tangent inverse of 25.3 divided by 5.2. Taking the tangent inverse, 25.3 divided by 5.2. And you get approximately 
Oh, excuse me, I took the tangent, not the tangent inverse. 25.3 divided by 5.2. And I should get about 78 degrees. Um, I haven't looked in the back of the book to see if the answer is correct or not, but according to the information that said that I wrote or typed up, 25.3. 25.3 divided by 5.2 or 10.4, half of 10.4 is going to be 78 degrees. Number five, how long should an escalator be if it's to make an angle of 30 degrees with the floor and carry people a vertical distance of 21 feet between the floors? So, an escalator, not an elevator. Uh, some students actually thought it was an elevator. Uh, part of the process is actually reading this information set really slowly, digesting the information so that you understand that it's an escalator, not an elevator for some students. And they, some students actually found the horizontal distance, not the escalator length. So make sure you know what you're looking for, okay? It makes a 33 degree angle right there. And vertical distance is 21 feet. And here's your escalator right here like this. And you want to find the distance of that. So that's X. That's what you're looking for, not the horizontal distance. So it's, it's a right triangle. The height and the floor is perpendicular. We assume that the floor or the ground is always uh, horizontal. And the height is always vertical, of course. Uh, since you have the opposite and the hypotenuse, you're going to use the sine. Sine of 33 degrees is equal to opposite 21 over x multiplying by x to both sides and divided by sine x is equal to 21 over the sine of 33 degrees you should know how to get this x by itself so i'm going to do the work on this 21 divided by the sine of 33 everything's in prompt two so sorry if i make a mistake on this 38.6 degrees or approximately 39 degrees A 72.5 foot uh, rope from the top of a circus pole is anchored to the ground 43.2 feet from the bottom of the pole. What angle does the rope make with the pole? We assume that the pole is always uh, ver vertical and it's anchored. Here's the rope right here. Right over there. 72.5 feet. From the top of the circus tent pole is anchored to the ground. 43.3 from the bottom of the pole. Uh, so from here, from where it's anchored right there, from the bottom of the pole, it makes 43.2 feet. And you want to find out what angle it makes. And that's what we're looking for, the angle. Oops, x equals question mark, okay? So you have the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So theta is equal to the adjacent, which is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, which is the cosine inverse of 43.2 divided by 72.5. And you can use your calculator to find the rest of that information, okay? So let's go on. Number nine. If a 73.0 uh, foot flat pole casts a shadow 51 feet long, what is the angle of elevation from the sun? So what I'm going to show you is if you have a horizon like this, and that's called a horizon or the horizontal. Horizontal is always uh, level with the ground. An angle of uh, elevation is you looking at it this way. So that's the angle of elevation right there. If you're looking at it downward, that's also called the angle of depression then. So from the horizontal, up is always elevation. Of course, depression means going down. Okay? So... You have a 73 foot, here's the sun by the way, it's a sunny day, smile, um, and you got a flag pole right here, it's on the ground, and it casts a shadow, and one of my students said, okay, where's the shadow? This is the length of the shadow. Not quite right. If I give you something like this, and... You can actually see that shadow from here to here a little bit, right? That's actually the shadow length. So it's actually going to be this length right here. That's the angle of the shadow. I mean, sorry, the length of the shadow. So a 73-foot 
1.0 foot uh, flagpole has a shadow 51 feet long so that's what's 51.0 feet long what angle of elevation you notice from the horizontal is going up that's called the angle of ele elevation data that's what we're looking for of course if it was something like this uh, looking down that would be the angle of depression if you notice something if I put a horizontal line right there that angle is the same as that angle by the way because parallel line by transversal alternate interior angles are always equal so but they didn't ask for the angle of depression they wanted the angle of elevation same thing in this case so what do we do we got the opposite and adjacent so we use the tangent inverse tangent of theta is equal to 73 divided by 51 taking the inverse we to both sides we get theta is equal to the tangent inverse of 73 divided by 51 so I'm going to do that on my calculator right now tangent inverse of 73 divided by 51 I get 55.1 degrees approximately 55.1 degrees the reason I use three decimal uh, three significant figures is because they have three significant figures here and there as well for the height of the pole as well as the shadow length a person 150 centimeters from a mirror notice that the angle of depression from his eyes to the bottom of the mirror is 12 degrees they actually give you a picture of that so I should draw so uh, a quarter of the battle is actually done right there so this guy is looking at this picture right here and from the height to the bottom no figure not drawn to scale uh, that's 11 degrees and that's going to be 12 degrees right there and to give you the length is 150 centimeters and there's a picture right there so it's actually looking at a picture on a wall you want to figure out what the length of that is I'll give you a hint it's not that difficult to do first thing you want to do is you want to find this call it X call it Y you want to figure out what X plus Y equals of course you have the angle right here you have this length which is the perpendicular distance from the eye to the uh, was it a mirror or I don't know yeah mirror okay I thought it was a picture excuse me it's a mirror 150 centimeters you shift to the top if it's 11 degrees you should be able to figure out using the tangent okay and then you should be able to figure out what y is using the tangent for this triangle so you look at the top triangle look at the bottom triangle I'll help you set up the first top it's the tangent so it's opposite of adjacent tangent of 11 degrees is equal to x over 150 multiplying by 150 to both sides x is equal to 150 times the tangent of 11 degrees do that for you really quickly tangent of 11 that's going to be approximately 29.2 centimeters okay that's part of your answer you, all you have to do is figure out what y is next okay next problem already talked to number 11 13 15 I, I didn't do 13 I just had to skip the topology mapping it's not that difficult uh, I couldn't fit the picture it's, I don't want to draw it etc etc so bear with me on this oh talk about bearing bear bear with me on this we're going to talk about bearing now bearing comes in two different ways um, 